What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be installing my new carbon fiber lip on the Evo. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. lip I actually ordered from carbon creations online you can check them out hopefully the fitment is way better than the eBay lip that I ordered do not trust eBay not even sure why I even did it I guess because the price was just so good I got the lip for like 200 bucks and these lips go for a lot of money I've seen some for sale for almost $500 which is absolutely insane I'm not gonna spend $500 on a carbon lip that may break um, I'd rather take that $500 and put it into like a new intercooler or something crazy uh, so this price on the Carbon Creations one was not too bad at all, very reasonable, similar to the eBay price, so I went ahead with it. Also had a really good reviews, so I have the box right here. I'm going to get to unboxing it, and then I'm going to remove the bumper off of the Evo, and then we'll go ahead and start mounting it. This box is so big, it's almost the size, <laughs> it's bigger than the Evo itself. Um, but the lip is in here, we're going to go ahead and open it. You guys can see I already have the carbon fiber air ducts installed. Um, I did not do a video on that because they're very, very simple. This is probably the easiest install you can do. Literally just mount them on a car and you drill holes in them. So I didn't feel the need to do a video. But if you have any questions regarding them, comment below. I will gladly help you out. But I'm sure if you order these, these are actually called the Rexpeed carbon air ducts. I got these through Rexpeed.com. You can get them through several other dealers. They look so nice and it looks kind of aggressive, which I like. And the lip is just going to set the front off. You guys can see it looks so good. Got the carbon emblem and also have the JDM headlights that came with the car. So they look really nice with the black housing on them. I'm really liking how everything's tying together. Next thing for the front end is going to be the heat shield. They do sell this in carbon fiber. And I think that'll pretty much be done with the Evo 8 front. Let's go ahead and unbox this and check out the new lip. so far i definitely recommend you going with carbon creations um, it's not a sponsored video or anything like that i just rather you save the trouble of going through ebay like i did trying to be cheap and save money and the lip did not fit it was just a terrible experience i ended up throwing away that big box so to ship the lip back i had to pay almost 50 dollars for a box from ups um luckily the company was nice enough to pay for shipping back so i had to pay for that but I basically lost $50 out of my pocket when I could have just spent an extra $50 and got this to begin with. Here you have it. It looks so nice. It's already clear coated. It's very, very durable from what I feel. Really just the front that's carbon. The bottom is made differently as you all can see and it feels very strong. The Evo to my liking is already low, but once I get some nice beefier tires on here, I'm gonna have to raise it a lot more, which I'm okay with and then the lift will be safe. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna have to drive extremely safe and cautious until I get rid of these tires. Quality is amazing. Look how pretty that looks. It's gonna look so nice on the car. Let's see if I can kind of mock it up. Oh yeah, that's gonna look so nice. The carbon lift actually mounts directly to the bumper itself. The Evo 8s come with like a little small lip, whatever you wanna call it, underneath the bumper. That needs to be removed first and then you can mount the carbon fiber lip so just a quick note the lip does not come with hardware from carbon creations directly you will have to purchase your hardware from lowe's or home depot luckily the last lip that i had troubles with i forgot to mail back my hardware so i'm gonna end up using the same hardware that came with the old lip with this one hopefully it kind of matches the same i'm sure it will be All right, pretty simple. Now the bumper is off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove 
this is what I was telling you guys earlier. It has like a little factory lip almost, this little cover. This has to be removed and then the carbon lip is actually installed onto the bumper itself without this. So I'm gonna take that off and then we're gonna go ahead and mock up the carbon lip. I do see that there's no holes here. It does have tabs on it, but it has no holes. So I'm gonna have to drill and create my own holes. A little nervous about that, but shouldn't be too bad. Let's get this off and then we'll go ahead and mock it up. So this little factory lip, whatever you wanna call it, it actually comes off pretty easy. You just gotta unscrew these little bolts. There you have it, just a few screws and then you can get this little factory splitter thing off and here goes the bumper raw so i'm gonna go ahead and mount it on there and then we'll just drill a few holes in so let's go ahead and mock it up and see exactly what's going to be needed to drill it in two thousand years later There's like a huge gap right here, so that's why we're pretty much grinding it down to try to let it sit flush. So fortunately this lip is not direct bolt-on. Some modification is needed, but we're making it work. Here's the bracket that's pretty much what's blocking it and not allowing the lip to sit flush. We're just grinding it down a little bit more. Hopefully once we grind it down a little bit more, it'll sit flush. All right, this is the scary part. Right, guys so here goes the lip on the bumper it looks super nice i'm excited to put it back on the car it did take a lot of work um <laughs> not an easy install i would say you definitely need two people or if you could do it with two people i definitely suggest it it'll make it a lot easier now it's all done got everything bolted on and then i'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the car Here is the final look. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so glad that I did the wheels black too because everything just ties in really nice. This came out super sick. Oh, I definitely got to upgrade that intercooler though. All right, so that's pretty much it. It was not super easy install, but it wasn't too bad. Before I end this video, um, I know I look completely different. There are two Joannas. There's this one and then there's the garage joanna which you guys saw earlier in the video as you may have seen you will not be using all of the bolts to the lip and the lip does require modification i didn't go too many details because i was actually learning myself um trying to figure out how the lip goes on because i could not find another install video but just so you guys know if you order this lip it will probably require some type of modification um hopefully not all cars are different this bumper could be flexed. I don't know, it could be so many different factors into it. I do want to mention that the eBay lip that I had ordered was very short. There's no way I could even modify that one to fit to begin with because the lip was just too short for the bumper itself. When I reached out to the company, they told me that it was a defect in some of the lips that they just created, so I had to return it. This lip actually fit from side to side, but there was just a few little parts where I had to modify, which you guys saw in this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below um, I'll try to answer them. Hopefully, if someone is doing this install, you kind of get an idea. Maybe I helped you out. Also, I would like to mention that you are not going to be using all of the bolts. Out of probably 10 bolts that I had, I ended up using maybe like seven of them. But the lip is secure. It is on there. Very tight. I mean, this thing is not coming off. If I didn't feel like it was secure, I would not have even continued with the install because obviously I'm not going to just damage and waste my money. So even with just six, seven bolts, it is pretty strong lip. I think it's gonna hold up well. Again, I'll show you guys. Very strong. It ain't going nowhere until I hit it off. <laughs> but let's hope that doesn't happen. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more because I have tons of content coming as I continue to mod the Evo. I'll catch you guys in the next video.